Now you're going to be noisy too, Luna, huh? Laugh out loud, love a lot, and shop for what makes you happy. Hey guys, Mandy here with Laugh Love Shop, and today... Well, I'm calling this a paint with me because I have a few projects that need to get done and they all involve chalk paint. Ignore the kids. They're all home. They're all awake. I'm running out of ways to record these videos. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do <laughs> is remove all my rings because they will wash with the chalk paint, but I don't really wanna have to do that. So I think I'm going to paint the picture frame first. So let's get started with that and I'm going to use this pink paint and it's called ballet slipper and it's from waverly inspirations i got it at walmart now one thing i love about chalk paint is that you don't have to do any prep work and it dries super fast <laughs> that is my kind of diy project All right, while that's trying, we're also going to go ahead and paint this candlestick. It does light up, it has batteries. This is from the Dollar Tree. And this is normally up on my wall, which unfortunately is white, so you can't really see it. And it doesn't really make the kind of statement that I want, so I'm going to paint it pink. All right, I'm gonna let the first layer dry for the top and then I'm gonna do the second layer on the top and then I'll go ahead and finish off the bottom. Next, I'm going to take this little angel from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to paint it white. Uh-oh, this paint is a little old. I don't know how well this is going to go on. It might end up being, uh, it's a little bit thick, but we'll, we'll try it. We'll see what happens. We'll just go with it, it's fine. All right, guys, that's it for layer one on all three of our items here. I'm going to let this dry, and I'm going to do layer two, and then I'll come back with the finishing touches. All right, guys, now that everything has all of the layers that it needs to have of the chalk paint, let's discuss our three projects. So the candle is actually completely done. I'm going to leave it just as is. I'm not going to worry about a top coat. This is going to be up on the wall where it's not really going to get handled all that much. And this is what it looks like up on said wall. I think it's so cute. It really stands out against the wall now. Next up for our little angel here, I am going to top her off with this polycrylic protective finish. And I've never used this before, but Catherine from Do It On A Dime uses this on all of her chalk paint projects. So I'm gonna test it out on our little angel and if I like how it looks, I'm gonna use this in an upcoming video for a future project. I'm seeing as it's drying that it's actually got some drips showing in it. So I'm just going to smooth those out a little bit while it continues drying. That is a good thing to note that I did not need that much polycrylic on it. Let's give it a little more time to dry. And our angel is all done. I don't know if you can tell, but she's extremely shiny because this is the clear gloss version instead of the satin version. And the reason that I chose that was because I might want to glossify some other things. Remember, I said this was the experiment. <laughs> so this is why she's got the gloss treatment. Now it's time to put her next to the TARDIS, which if any of you are Doctor Who fans, you totally get this reference. Also, does anybody know where I can buy maybe some fake grass for my little fairy garden that's not a fairy garden? I'm not very good at growing things, so I would like something that I don't have to worry about taking care of. Let's discuss the future of our painted picture frame here. And what I wanna do is I want to take this artwork from this divider and I wanna put it in the frame. But in order to do that, I'm going to need to create a mat for it because this is not quite big enough to fit in the frame. So step one was to cut the sheet down from eight and a half by 11 to eight by 10, which is what the size of the frame is. The next thing to do was to figure out how much of this needed covered. So I placed this in the middle here and then I measured this side because this side needs the most covered and we need seven eighths of an inch. So we're gonna make it seven eighths of an inch all the way around so that it's symmetrical and we don't have the mat being shorter on one side or on the top and bottom. So I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna take my erasable pen and I'm going to mark 7 eighths at several points around the mat. 
All right, now that we've got all of our guiding dots, I'm just going to put this in here, line up the dots, and cut out our middle section. All right, now that we're done with the slicing, I'm just going to erase our six little dots off of here and pop the center part out. There we go. Now let's start constructing this thing from the front to the back. So there's the frame, the glass, the mat, and I'm going to take some skinny washi tape and just washi it down to the mat so that it's not floating all around on the inside of the picture frame. And once you have that, now is a good time to check the front. And it's a good thing I did because you guys can see, I can see the tab here. So we definitely need to move it over. Let's check it again. Much better. Now let's get the back back into it and we're done and here's what she looks like sitting on my desk guys i adore how this turned out i think it's so so cute i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up to let youtube know that you enjoy diys and i will talk to you next time bye new videos every wednesday friday and saturday in the meantime check these out and follow me across social media